Hello, my name is David Gattel and I am the director for the opening scene of What Child Is This? I would like to thank everyone who made this shoot possible. First, with our financial contributors on Kickstarter and MegaFounder. Without your financial support, we could not have done this. Inyo County National Forest Service for providing us the means of shooting out in the Sierras. Mammoth Mountain and Steve Morrison for providing us the logistics of getting out to Minaret Vista. And last but not least, my dear crew who followed me blindly into the snow at 9,000 feet. I also want to point out that Tim Kraniak, our second camera assistant, it was his first time ever seeing the snow. I just want to throw it at the windshield of the snow cat. Should we soldier on it? Oh, yeah. All right. The point of shooting the opening scene of the feature film is so that we can do a proof of concept and a proof of work. Because we can take this now and show our investors and see like, look at what we can do. Would you like to help make the feature film? Where do you want them? Uh, let's get a couple on the sea can. Okay. Overall, it was a four day project. Two days of prep, one day of shooting, and then one day of leaving. On Friday when we arrived early on Mammoth Mountain, Steve Morrison greeted us and basically showed us all over the mountain where we could shoot. And lo and behold, our original spot that we confirmed, Minaret Vista, was the perfect shooting location. Steve then was like, what do you want? He's like, you can have anything. So he, gave, he got us snow blowers, he got us snow cats, he gave us crew members that would help plow the snow and manage it. And without his services, it would not have been as authentic as it possibly could. Here, boys. Right, the dirt would be on top. It would be layered. It would be like snow, and then like the dirt would be coming up. Here, why don't we it up? Taylor Nicholson probably had the most fun out of everyone because she got to tell Steve Morrison and his gang where to put the snow and where we needed it. Because that was the hardest part for us. How do we create a snowy environment on a 45 degree and sunny weather day? It, it was honestly a miracle. And then Kyle would like the fans pointed directly at camera. Got that cut in. And you. Throw the, high, throw the snow as high as possible. Possible. Kyle Klebe's select choice of lenses create that compact image because we're able to compress the image and layer the snow out to make it look like there is a greater storm happening. And that's the, you know, that's movie magic. What also helped with the authenticity of the film is Peter Shereko's wardrobe and props. Without his support for this film, it would not be what it looks like now. My actors and I, we immediately started blocking out the scene. Curtis Anton and the crew, Chad Corahan and Joseph Horn, they started organizing all the equipment and preparing it for tomorrow's shoot. You want to come with me so you can kind of see what you have to do? You want to give Chad these layouts? Sir? Point! Point, point, point. The biggest challenges that we faced doing this project was, of course, the elements. We had a 13-hour day in the snow. It was not easy, but boy, was it fun. We only had 18 crew members at our disposal to help set up for each shot. And without everyone's efficiency and professionalism, we couldn't have pulled it off. And if you ever need any sort of crew members, you know where to look. These people are the best of the best. You know, this project means a lot to me because how many times do you get to go out and shoot in the snow? I learned a lot. I learned how difficult it is. I feel so much more prepared if I have to do it again. I am so ready to shoot this feature film, I can't even contain myself. But this project ultimately means to me what the theme of the movie is about, and that is what we do now and how it affects our future generations. How we show grace and mercy to those around us and how we treat others now, what it will do to our future children. And I think that's a very important message that people need to learn. I would also really like to thank Curtis Anton for one, writing the feature film and two, producing this opening scene of the feature film. Without his commitment, his drive and his passion for this story, it would not have been possible. And for that, it has made me a more passionate and more driven director. 
Thank you for watching our behind the scenes of the opening scene of What Child Is This? I would like to thank you, the viewer, for being such a big part of this process. And I'd like you all to know that we're still raising money on our Mega Founder campaign, and all money that we make goes towards post-production and building the business plan to sell the feature film. And hopefully, I'll see you guys soon.